all right. My old man's been beating me up again. Want to tell me about it? You know, I told you. He tied me up and tried to cut all my hair off. Well, because I escaped from that, he's got really wild. That was last month. I know, but he's been wild ever since. Yesterday, he tied me up with a belt off my skirt. Do you struggle when he ties you up? Do you put up a fight? I can't. He's so strong. You should see the size of him. He's over six foot tall, like a gorilla. Anyway, he tied me up and hung me upside down out of the window. We're ten floors up. He said it might put some sense into me letting the blood run to me head. I was swearing and going on, but he wouldn't let me back in. He just held me there until I was quiet. Then he was threatening me with all sorts. <sighs> I must go now. I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. What's up the phone, love? Nobody, Dad. Just Tracy. <sighs> I must have dropped off. Oh, make us a nice cup of tea, darling, eh? Yes, Dad. It's really not funny, Max. It's five times now. I know you find it hard to get on with Monique, but she does do her best for you, you know. It's not easy for her, either. Treating her like this is just not fair. If you go on faking these suicides, you'll only succeed in driving her away. Is that what you're trying to do? It's not her fault your mother and I split up. You can't blame her. If you go on behaving like this, I shall have no alternative but to take the car back. You understand? Well, I hope you do. Don't worry. This was the place. This was the street where he lived. It looked like any other street, but to her it was the most exciting place she knew because he lived there, ate, drank and slept in one of those ordinary houses. I was just thinking, and this house is lovely. This is yappy land. All your snobs live here. But what are we doing here then? It makes change walking this way. It's a pretty way. I'm gonna have a house here one day, Tracy. You wish. Go on. Where? Story. Behind that ordinary edge was the source of all her dreams, the reason for the hot flushes in her cheeks whenever he appeared. This was his earth. It was a pretty boy then. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly. <laughs> Don't fancy yours much. What are you staring at? Nothing. No law against walking down this road, is there? No. Well then. It's very bloody world, isn't it? <laughs> what kind of a car is it? Ferrari, 1959. Thought so. Oh, it's a Ferrari, 1959. <laughs> Does your dad pay you much for washing it? Nothing. <laughs> You're being exploited. You ought to withdraw your labour. Actually, it's my car. Oh, actually, it's my car, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah? When I'm 17. Actually. <laughs> you know what? What? My friend says she really fancies you. Tracy, I never! She likes wimps. Don't. But she fancies you and know you're a wimp. 
I think he's horrible. And a liar. You don't believe her, do you? Stuck up stupid prat. He's not talking to us no more. You're sulking. No. no. <laughs> to help Dad get tea ready. Mum will be home in a minute. That's your job. You haven't been up there with your trainers on again. I need them to kick the fleas to death. Go and help Dad get tea ready. Go and play football. You'd better do as you're told. Stuff it, Kelly. Dad! Dad, Dad, Kelly hit me. Well, what'd you do that for? No reason at all, Dad. I'll have to have a word with that young lady. James Bond, and this boy got out. He had sort of spiky hair and freckles. He said I was the loveliest girl he'd ever seen. And I thought, funny. Did he make any suggestions to you? Like showing him my knickers? Like asking you to go in the car with him? No, he just chatted me up. So it wasn't really a problem? No. I'm here to listen to your problems. I know. Can you help my friend as well? If she calls me, I'm here to help children in trouble. She's in trouble. She wants to know how to chat up this boy. This isn't a dating service, Kelly. Now get off the line, please, and make way for a serious caller. I am serious. Thanks for your help. I'll do it my way. My name's Kelly. Oh? What's yours? What? What's your name? Oh, Mike's. I never thought you'd speak to me after last night. You never meant nothing by it. My friend don't like boys much. Where is your friend? She's got detention, cheeky Miss Catchpal. It's a nice car. Can I touch it? Go ahead. Keep it nice, don't you? Do my best. Bet you don't let many people touch it. No. So it can't be very dirty then? My father uses it at the weekends. Can I sit in it? My skirt's clean. OK. I can always polish it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Keep it nice. Pity you're too scared to take it out on the road. Think I don't? I know you don't. Like my friend says, you're too much of a wimp. You ain't as daft as you look. Thanks. Around the block. Big deal. Right, where do you want to go? Brighton. Okay. You could grow on me, you know. Why do you want to go to Brighton? See my mum. Don't you live with your mum? I do, but she's not my real mum. Your parents split up? I'm adopted. My real mum's in show business. She's quite famous. What's her name? You wouldn't know her. She's a dancer. Ballet in that. I saw a ballet once. Keep your eyes on the road. 
me seem younger than what I am. You mean you're like a midget? No. You ever been to Brighton? No. Not even with your dad? He doesn't like English seasides. Not as good as Majorca. We usually go to Sri Lanka for the beach. Don't worry, I'll find it. I've got to call somebody. Hello, Childline. Hello, this is Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Guess what? I couldn't possibly. I've ran away. Where are you? You won't catch me like that. I've ran away with this tasty boy. He didn't abduct you? Don't be disgusting. He came round my ass and called for me this morning. I thought we were going for a little drive. You know, but then he said, now's our chance, Kelly. Now we can go to a place we can be, be just by ourselves. He's ever so romantic. Does anyone know where you are? Of course not. That's the point of running away, isn't it? Have you thought about how your parents might feel? They'll go spare. Don't you think you should phone them just to say you're OK? You're joking. Me old man will murder me. I can't never go home again. Have a land, burgers. Who are you calling? Place. What for? Tell him you've kidnapped me. You didn't. That's right, I didn't. I was finding my friend. I've been thinking. Don't overdo it. It's all main roads and motorways to Brighton. Wicked, you can really put your foot down. There's a lot of police on motorways. So? So we might get stopped. So what? So I haven't got a licence. So? <clears throat> You're a good driver. Better than most grown-ups. It's illegal. So is everything that's fun. We'd better go by the country roads. May take longer, but it's safer. Can I have a go? Driving. You don't know how. Sexist. We learnt it at school. My father doesn't like other people driving her. You mean you don't like other people driving her? He told me never to let my friends drive her. I'm not your friend. I'm out. You always do what your daddy wants, do you? No. Bet you do. Bet he's got you twisted round his little what's his name. No, he hasn't. Finger. Bet him and your mummy spoil you rotten. That's why you come over with such a whim. You're a little mummy's boy. My mother's dead. Sorry. 
I hate my father and all other grown-ups. When did you notice it had gone? Um, when I called him for supper. You should have called me straight away. I did. What else does the boy think he's doing? Well, he might have taken it out to get some petrol. No, he's not allowed out on the road. It's probably one of his tricks. Clutch has only been in a fortnight. He's probably hiding somewhere. Where can you hide a car? He'll be back any moment to surprise us. Well, the second he does get back, he's in for a good beating. Give him everything he wants and this is all the gratitude we get. Who are you phoning? Ambrose. Ambrose who? Ambrose, my psychiatrist. You really like that car, don't you? Mm. Better in people. Better in me. I don't know you, do I? You know me better than you did yesterday. Mm. What's the time? 9.30. Must have stopped. My friend I rang just now. She said we ought to phone our parents. Whatever for? Tell them we're safe. Don't be stupid. Tracy's. No, Dad, I'm with a friend. We're going for a ride in his car, so we might be a bit late back. You what? There's nothing to worry about, right? Is he making you say this? No, it's nothing like that. It's this boy I know. I'm getting the police. Dad, don't get the police or tell anyone. We just need you to leave us alone for a bit. I'll be back tomorrow. I've never heard anything like it. What will your mum say? She'll be upset, but tell her that everything's all right. Promise not to tell anyone. Promise. All right. But you'll be back tomorrow. Thanks, Dad. Wicked. Kelly's been kidnapped. I can have her top bunk. Cinch, he's promised. Don't believe him, do you? Of course. Don't trust adults. Max, he's my dad. Your turn. I couldn't. You'll kill me. Chicken. Tell him, you, tell him you're a friend of mine, isn't he? I am, ain't I? That's OK. Bye. What did he say? Seems to think it's a good sign. You know, the twaddly shrinks talk. He says it's a healthier expression of rebellion than the fake suicides. So it's better all round if I resist showing anger. Hello? Ma Max? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's not Max. I'm a friend. I see. Getting someone else to do his dirty work for him. You tell him for me to get back here this instant. No chance. I beg your pardon? Max just wants you to know that everything's all right and there's no need to worry. No need to call the police. Are you a boy or a girl? Mind your own business. Max told me to say that he just wants you to give him a bit of space, right? I'll give him space. Thanks. He'll be back tomorrow. Bye. I bet he has such nonsense. Well, I only heard your end of the conversation. Give him space. I'm getting the police. Why not give him space, hmm? I mean, he's out of our way for a while. No floods in the bathroom. And, and no gas taps left on, and no fake blood on the carpet. Oh, let's enjoy a bit of peace, hmm? Onique, he has got the car. We'll have to stop soon. Do you need a pee? She's getting low on petrol. I do. Eh? 
need to go. A pee. Okay. Ta. Look what I found. It's an egg. I can see that. I'm not stupid. It's illegal to take eggs from birds' nests. There weren't no birds there. Was it in a bird's nest? No, it was just laying on the ground. It's warm. So would you be if you've just been laid. It's not that new. How do you know? Listen. There's something moving inside. It's a bird. Never thought it was an elephant. New life. I'm going to keep it and hatch it out. When it hatches, everything's going to be all right for us. It's our good luck, right? You'll have to keep it warm. I know all about eggs. I'm a girl, and I? Squash after this. <laughs> Thought you wouldn't be so noticeable. Hide your face a bit. Was there any change? I was looking after it. You think I was going to nick it, don't you? I didn't say that. I know what you said. I'd have brought some more money if I'd known we were going on a trip. We'll need it for petrol. And food. Chocolate spread or peanut butter? Neither. Thanks. Place like there. I don't know this house. Seen it before. It's Hetty's house. Who's Hetty? Hetty Lyle Hughes. I don't trust people with double jointed names. What are you doing here? We're a parson. This is Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Look, I'm having a party. A couple of friends. Do you want to come along? Sure. Come on. Hey, everybody, there's some more people here. Max, Kelly, Max, Amanda, Kelly, Clara, Ben, Luke. Okay, come and sit down. Mm. 
Yeah, that makes sense. What do you want, something up? Lemonade or Coke? Coke, please. Do you like Popeye? How did you get here? Oh, we run away in the Ferrari. Bye, Hetty. Have a lovely time, darling. Bye, Mum. My parents are alcoholics. Jump, but then we so cool run away with. Uh, uh, Kelly. Kelly. Mm. Just a girl who wanted to live the bright house. Mm -hmm. So, Rodine, yeah? You go to school, Rodine? Yeah. What kind of books do you like reading? None, really. Really? God. I like reading things like uh, Shakespeare and stuff like that. Um, what is it? Oh, yeah, Macbeth. Is this the dagger I see before me, the handle for my hand? Come, let me pluck you. And, yeah, great speech. Is that your boyfriend? Yeah. Really? I can't believe it. That's that's my girlfriend, Hetty. You heard? Yeah. Do you like her more than me? She's a lot different. Do you want to dance? Yeah. Do you want to dance? It was rubbish. You seem to be enjoying yourself. So did you. I hated it, all them yuppies. Should have said you wanted to go. You wouldn't have dragged yourself away from her, would you? Thought you were enjoying yourself. They think they own the world just because they got money. They do own the world. It's a fact of life. You knew I never wanted to stop at no party. I wanted to go to Brighton. Right. How much have you had to drink? One beer. One glass of beer. You're not driving, then. It's against the law. You said fun things always are. It's not funny to kill somebody, Max. We'll stop here for now. You said to my father I'd be back later. I told him tomorrow. I'm not drunk. I've had beer before. We have wine and champagne all the time at home. Police always stop cars at night. They stop you for drunken driving. You're in a lot of trouble. Best stop here and go to Brighton tomorrow. It's school tomorrow. You know, when I first met you, I didn't think you'd have the guts to run off like this. The only thing that spoils it is you haven't got the guts to carry on. Where are we 
we going? We can't stop here all night. Scared you'd see us and get jealous. Oh. Hetty, snotty, stuck up. Look, Kelly, you can shut up about that or you can walk to Brighton. Okay, I will. You were right about me being scared. If it hadn't have been for you, I'd never have been able to take the car out the garage. You said you had before. Not on my own. Like a responsible adult? Adult drivers are not responsible. My best friend got hit by a hit and run driver. He died later of a brain hemorrhage. Are you good at school? No. A disappointment to everyone, especially my father. He wants me to be a sportsman. Bastard. He's always saying how weak I am. Strong? He's never even touched me. Did your mum love you? When? Before she died. She didn't. Love you? Die. She moved. To Natwich, a distress designer who she was having a thing with. Do you still see her? Sometimes. Sometimes go there on the weekends. She's always in bed. Overtired? Oversexed. She said she never wanted to see me again after I tried to drown myself in, a, in her boyfriend's fish tank. Sorry. You know, I must be drunk. Never told anyone all this before. Now, don't go getting no wrong ideas. You might not have believed about your blockage. Mm. What's the time? Still half past nine. These new batteries. Must be time to get some sleep. Where are you going? Brush my teeth, of course. What's in the flask? Water. The other one's tea. You sure you haven't forgotten anything? <laughs> sure. doing? They were falling out. You wouldn't like me looking through your knickers. How many times a day do you change them? Mind your own business. This side of the car's mine, right? I don't want any parts of yours coming into it. Right, don't worry. No looking. And help you to sleep in your clothes. Ain't you taking anything off? Put 
the shoes back on. slept with her in a car. Mm-hmm. Why do you think you did that? I was tired. Did you really think you'd get to Brighton? No. I knew you'd pick us up. Because we always win. Exactly. Then why do you persist in fighting us? Someone has to. And I suppose you thought this girl, this Kelly, was an ally. She was. She would have been. Was there a word that came to mind when you saw her? What do you mean? Did you think a dirty word? Did you touch her? No. She was my friend. And no one is your friend, Max. Until you can form and accept that you must be what we make you to be, then you will always be alone. Good. You think I've forgotten the car, don't you? Your dearest love. Even she hates you. It's not true. Ask her. Tell him, Carr. Tell him that you hate him. Oh, flipping it. What's up? I accidentally touched the horn. So I noticed. I was asleep. So was I. Just got off. I was dreaming. Me too. Dreamt this was all a dream. You're mad. Mad Max. Oh, don't you start. Did I call you that? Sometimes. What was that? Nothing. It sounded like a ghost. It's an owl. Don't they have street lights in the country? No. Just in main towns. So much dark. I've never seen so much dark. Are you scared of it? Of course not. You? No. Places in lines. Got any coffee? Tea? That'll do. Need something for me head. Drank a bit too much. Oh. Where'd you live, Todd? On the road. Like a dosser? I am a dosser. But you're a kid. Plenty of kids live on the road. Why? Nobody wants us anywhere else. Keep on moving and no trouble to no one. Nice cup of tea. What about your family? 
What family? Been in care? All my life. Now I'm doing my own thing. And you got parents? Must have somewhere. Perhaps I'll come across them someday. You never know who you'll meet on the road. Must be moving. See you around. You'll kill yourself drinking so much. Where are you going? Move on a bit, keep a bit. Move on tomorrow. Might find another party. Must be awful to be like that. Mm. Tea's woken me up. I'll never get to sleep now. Not me. I wonder if he I wonder if he heard us talking. He could have overheard anything I told you. Gully? I told you you was drunk. Cramp. What's the time? Dunno. Birds woke me up when it got light. When was that? Not long. It's probably only about five. Are you fit? Not very. To start, got to wash and have breakfast. Where can we wash from here? I'll show you. Breakfast first. I don't go to school. Liar. Got slung out. Too disruptive. Got a tutor now. He's a prat. Max, that's Todd. Could have been. It was. He looked dead. I've been really dramatic. He was asleep. We ought to go back. He's all right. Kids like that can look after himself. Not if he's dead. Stop. We can have a wash now. Your turn. It's okay, I'll wash when we get there. Nice to be up early before anybody's about. You could give me a go now.
Movies always go on amusements. I didn't realize we were running away. I know. I've got a confession to make. I lied about that. My mum is my real mum. Just wanted to give you a reason to come here. That's okay. If you'd said it was for laugh, I'd still have come. Commit these socks with a D. <laughs> May all their sins be forgiven. Amen. I've enjoyed today. Better than maths, French, and a double period of English. Swim back to shore. I can't swim. You'll drown. Right. I want to die while I'm enjoying myself. I'm going for a hamburger.
this and going where we like round here. It is so good looking for in London. Idiot. It's easy. They know the car. Do you want to go back? No way. Well then, take everything from the car that you need and let's go. My father uses them at the weekends. But look at them. Now we can camouflage her. Like a wall, isn't it? Where are we going to shelter now? We might come looking. They won't find us. They might send in tracker dogs. They won't find us. strong, supple body fanned by the wind and tanned by the sun worked on tirelessly. She watched him at work, the shadows dappling his dark hair. It's a new beginning, she thought. Her fingers caressed his bulging biceps as their hearts throbbed with love. You're a lazy cow, aren't you? What? 
thought you'd been emancipated. Don't be personal. I had a tree house when I was a kid. Bet you did. Mm. My father had one made for me in a country house. Still go there sometimes to get away from him and Monica. Not a very posh name, Monica. Her real name is Monique. She hates Monica. Why do you hate grown-ups so much? I have all the power. Sorry, I fell asleep. That's okay. So boring, isn't it? Like my family. Is that all you wanted to leave? Nothing ever happens. Me and my brother fight. My mum and dad think he's an angel. My dad gets drunk. My mum cries. They protect me all the time. Don't let me do nothing. As long as we're kids, we're under their command. I can't talk to them. They never listen. That's why I found Childline. You don't, do you? All the time. You're only supposed to when you're in trouble. They're my friends. You're being abused. What does abused mean? Treated badly. There you go. All kids are abused. My father won't, keeps telling me to grow up. He never lets me. They treat you like crap at school. When you leave, there's no jobs. Suppose we treat our kids the same. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could stay here forever? We can. Being with a boy in the forest. What, you thought it'd be like your magazines? You're not like them boys. That's just trash adults feed you to make you think the world's a lovely place. And they haven't really screwed it up for you. This is a nice place. Yeah, before they bulldoze it and turn it into a hypermarket. Someone must have planted it.
you ever been out of a go before? Mm. Mm. Only when my dad fixed it up for me. Business meetings with his colleagues. You? What? Been out with any boys? Millions. Well, none really. I think my legs are too big. Want to see my scar? Sure. Got hit by a car. Better on mine. Show me. Appendix. It's bigger when I first had it. My legs used to be smaller. I hate my ears. Mr. Pot, have you any message for your daughter? Kelly, love, wherever you are, or wherever you're with, your mother and I... It was too upset to talk to our reporter, but Max's father, wealthy motor manufacturer Giles Fraser Ellis, had this to say. Uh, I know you're watching, Max, because I know you never take your eyes off the television screen. So uh, stop fooling around. There's a good boy. Act your age. Uh, you know the uh, transmission on the car is a bit sticky. Uh, Would you like to tell him how you love him and miss him? Hmm. Nice to be quiet. Still afraid of the country? Not now. Before we went to that party, I thought you really liked me. I didn't say that. So you don't like me? Didn't say that either. Looking for the low.
you a virgin. Mind your own business. So am I. They go on about sex all the time. You can like people without it. Sex gives you AIDS. How long have we been here? I don't know. A few days. Must be Monday by now. Art, physics, geography, drama. I think it's drama. Remember you said you wanted to stay here forever? Wish we could. Well, I've thought of a way how. How? Yeah. Kill the car. It. My father made me, taught me. It's just a machine. What good will it do killing it? Read this. Where's my glasses? You use them to make the fire. Yeah, I'll read it. To whom it may concern, Max Fraser Ellis and Kelly Potts, being of sane mind, have decided that there is no future for us in your cruel, insane world. We therefore agree to take our lives. Max. You mean kill ourselves? Not really. We stick this by the car, <coughs> then burn her, so they reckon that we were inside. Don't be mad. What about our parents? What about them? They'll go spare. My mum will be really upset. It's either that or they find us. They won't find us. They will. You may hate your family. All you rich people think about is money, gadgets, cars, country houses. I'm not like them. We're all the same. My family's got nothing, but we love each other. Even your brother? Yes. I knew you only came along for the ride. Meaning? Meaning you only fell for the car, like everyone does. So? So you couldn't give a damn about me. You don't give a damn about me. Says who? Says me. What you rich people think about is money. Fine. Keep the money. I'm going to sit in the car. Go on, go and burn yourself.
Pedal 